and you meet these people and you think, why on earth they didn't come to us? They're not trying to sell their story. We tracked them down and begged and pleaded with them to come forward. When I found Martha, the sister of the deceased military officer, Marco Cherizi, we were knocking on doors. I remember the sound guy from, from Rio de Janeiro. He was like, you're out of your mind. What are you doing? You can't just knock on random doors. I was like, man, if there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to find this lady. And we found her. And it was like this kind of kind of sketchy area. And you know, it's like when you, when you get out of your car and you could see like people drawing the curtains back and looking at you and you're standing mm -hmm. out like, dude, yeah. I stood out like a sore thumb, man. And then we walked up. I had Marco with me, thank God, and we had camera crews and stuff. It's kind of sketchy. And uh, Marta appears, and her husband appears in this big, he's a big guy, and he's got like a white beater shirt on, and he looks like he wants to rip my fucking head off. And I'm like, and she's looking at me, and he's just looking at her going, Marta's looking, Marta's looking at her husband, and her husband's looking at Marta like, give me the signal, I'll kill this guy. That's the fucking... And I was looking at Marco, and I was like, James, you need to think quick, think quick on your feet right now. And I said immediately, please translate this. I'm, I'm here to give your brother justice. I'm here to get the story out. Please talk to me. And we developed a relationship with her slowly over that. And those are the first words that we exchanged. And we eventually got her to come forward. 